Hello and welcome to episode 16 of Crypto Cartography. Today we're talking smart contract platforms. We have 10 minutes. Let's go. Today we're talking Solana, cash tag SOL, about $350 per token, $117 million market cap. Circulating supply is low, $33 million of $488 million, but we'll talk about that today. We're talking smart contract platforms, so one of the biggest problems in distributing ledger technology. We're going to be valuing, if we come over to our, crypto, uh, our Google Sheets, we're going to be looking at technical qualities, usage statistics, statistics, and also cost savings today. So we will come back to this quantitative analysis in just a little bit. Let's go to technical qualities and usage statistics first. So coming over to our Word doc, our TR, TLDR investment thesis, this is supposed to be the world's fastest blockchain and smart contract platform. Solves the scalability issues of Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchains. If you are participating in DeFi of summer, you know about the scalability and gas costs of Ethereum. So this delivers layer to performance with layer one security and simplicity. Also, it's also Solana alone is greater or equal to Ethereum plus layer two solutions. The way they put it is they said they started with solving the problem of scalability first and built a blockchain rather than what Ethereum did in building a blockchain and then trying to scale it. Makes a lot of sense. If we go to our timeline, we had our white paper back in January 2018. Uh, so we've had about two and a half years of product development, which is wonderful. They've had multiple rounds of seed um, and multiple rounds of fundraising. They've raised about $25 million, all with all under a dollar. Um, and then they had their token issuance at a coin list auction in about March. They issued the token. In April 2020, at about 95 cents, there's not much technical history here, but you will see the coin's been performing very well since then. Um, so not much technical analysis, um, but we have had this recent dip um, in the last in the last like 24 hours. So looking over at their major valuation propositions, they've come up with a novel concept called Proof of History. They've even got a website called proofofhistory.co. Highly recommended. It. It's a quality read. So they have solved the distributed timekeeping problem. The problem of getting distributed parties or nodes in a decentralized ecosystem to agree on the time or the order of events where there is currently no single trusted source of time. Other solutions don't scale or use centralized or third parties. Come down with me. We'll see here that it says proof of history creates a record that provides proofs that an event has occurred at a specific moment in time. Whereas other networks require participants to communicate in order to agree that time has passed, each Solana node maintains its own clock by recording the passage of time in a sequential series of events. So take a look at proofofhistory.co, quality read, um, heading over to the website, web scale blockchain for fast, secure, scalable, decentralized apps and marketplaces. Um, they've also got this thought concept of a multi-threaded blockchain, which includes parallel processing of transactions where other blockchains and smart contract platforms can only do single threaded rather than multi-threaded parallel, uh, parallel processing. Um, our characteristics, let's go now to our characteristics or our, um, as you can see here, we've got around 65,000 tr transactions per second as compared to our other large smart contracts platforms. Uh, block time is 400 milliseconds. Transaction fees are less than a penny. Um, and as we can see, we can compare that to other estimated transaction fees. Um, and actually, this is probably giving Ethereum too much credit with gas fees just through the roof here in summer 2020. Um, also want to note, no low latency and then no sharding necessary. So a lot of for the ability for other smart contract platforms to scale, there is some sort of sharding that's necessary, not necessary for Solana, which is great to see. Now, what live products do we have? The mainnet is live. That's good to see. Um, if we come over here to Solana Beach, great name. Um, as it loads, this is where we can see user, user statistics and how the network is doing. They also have SPL tokens. So just like Ethereum has ERC tokens, you and I can go and create any SPL token we want and develop any DAP or DEX that we want on the Solana blockchain. In that same vein, they have a Solana accelerator. If you're a developer, you can apply for a grant build your dApp and get funding to build it on the Solana blockchain. They also have the Solana Foundation and their first dApp live, which is wonderful. If we come over to their Twitter, you'll see that a couple of days ago, August 30th, Serum is officially live. It's their first dApp on the Solana blockchain. Congratulations. 
Massive, massive accomplishment. Also, want to note a couple of days ago, Jump Trading, one of the largest market makers in the world, to, it will start providing liquidity on Project Serum, the first DAP, alongside a significant investment. So it looks like, number one, Serum's going to grow nicely. Serum's built on Solana, so we could... We could see some massive growth in Solana as well. Something I do want to note that's quite interesting. If we come over to the Serum um, CoinGecko page, have a look at the fully diluted valuation of Serum, $28 billion. And if we come back, actually, if we go to our quantitative statistics right now, really quickly, just concentrate on this number right now. Our fully diluted market cap for Solana by itself is about $1.8 billion, whereas their first DAP on the Solana blockchains were $28 billion. So this po po uh, poises um, Solana for growth, given that if we have multiple dApps on the Solana blockchain, we could see this fully diluted market cap grow into the many, many billions. Great. Back to our qualitative analysis really quickly. They do have an Oracle partnership with Chainlink. That's wonderful. They have a stablecoin partnership with Terra. Um, like I mentioned, you and I can go and create SPL tokens, create any dApp that we want. We can use the SOL token, which is the native utility token for staking, transaction fees, as well as governance as well. Now, I do want to mention the team. The team is very public, very pedigreed in DLT and operating systems, which gives me a lot of confidence in their, execute, in their execution. Quickly onto our risks, we do have developer adoption risk. Um, the first major DAP is live um, for Serum, or Serum is the first DAP, so that is good, but we do need developers to switch other smart contracts and come over. If we go to state of the DAPs real quick, you'll see that um, a lot of there's a lot of competition, a lot of other DAPs being built by developers. Ethereum's still the leader at the moment, so we do want to see developers come over to Solana slowly but surely. We also have Ethereum 2.0 risk. Let's say that Ethereum delivers on every promise. Um, that would poise a risk to Solana. We have smart contract competition risk. Um, we have execution risk and also consensus mechanism risk, in my opinion, because they have created the novel proof of history. That's our qualitative analysis. Let's jump over to quantitative analysis. Now, I wanted to go back to Solana Beach and just come down here and note we have a circulating supply of 33 million, which lines up with CoinGecko, but we also have an active staked amount of about 150 million. So what I've done for our quantitative valuation exercise is added the two together to come up with a circulating plus stake supply, which we'll use to make some investment forecasts. So we've been through technical qualities, should be the fastest blockchain in the world. Look at usage statistics. Um, I do want to see Solana have dApps being built. Their usage statistics are low right now. But what I also want to note is they have a March 2020 pitch deck here um, from their March 20 coin list auction. If you come down with me, I do want to note that over here on the right, MAUs, monthly active users, they do plan for about 1.2 million monthly active users um, in the coming future. And they do say that it's small down here, and I can post this pitch deck in the YouTube, um, based on a social network protocol's intention to launch on the network. So if that does happen, we could see user, user statistics grow massively, which would be really nice. Also, cost savings. Let's quickly go through some cost savings. With transaction fees of 0 0.0001, um, we do note that Solana Beach tells us that there's been total transactions of 2.6 billion in their history. That only costs about 26 grand. If we were to give, say, Ethereum has a $1 transaction fee, we're looking at about 2 billion in um, transaction fees. So we can see massive cost savings for developers of dApps and also the users of those dApps as well. Now, let's do our um, investment exercise. Let's say we have $1,000 to invest. Um, at the at $3.50, we get about two, 260 tokens. Um, if I estimate my circulating plus stake market cap growing from today at about 700 million, which is simply 183 million times three, around three, I've got 380 there, um, all the way up to 100 billion, we do see that our token price grows nicely from 380 to 10 at 2.5 billion, to 25 at 10 billion, to $62 per token at 25 billion, and around 250 bucks at 100 billion. And I've estimated an increase in the estimated circulating supply um, as we release tokens. So we could see some nice growth here um, if 
multiple dApps or many dApps are built on the Solana blockchain. What's our potential investment outcomes? Always we have a risk of failure, uh, loose of all our funds. We could sell in the third BTC bull run, look for that zero to a thousand percent gain as this becomes a tens of billion dollar organization. We could sell in the fourth BTC run, wait five to seven years, look for a much larger game. Now, or we could be a hodler, a staker, and instead of building agents, we would be a validator in the network. So that would be great. And we could look for that 10 or 8,000% uh, percent gain if it becomes a $100 billion organization. Portfolio subsectors, obviously a smart contract platform. If you need an Ethereum killer in your altcoin portfolio or your crypto portfolio, this is a great bet. It's also a blockchain operating system, a dApp development system, a data marketplace, and a data storage play, um, play as well. Now, comparables, many, many comparables out there for smart contract platforms. Here are our major competitors, in my opinion. Based on everything that we've been through today, I do see this as a buy. I think it's very early days. We only have our first dApp that's live on the Solana blockchain, and I do see that number growing vastly. Um, and that's why I'm giving this a buy signal today. And I do think our current price of around 350 could easily get in the tens, could easily get to 50. And then if it becomes a 25, I, know, I think Ethereum's around 44 billion at the moment. If we get to a plus $50 billion market cap, we're looking at a plus $50 token price as well. So let me know your thoughts. I'm very excited about this project, given the characteristics, given the technological um, advancements that it's making from Ethereum to Solana. Let me know your thoughts. Happy crypto investing. We'll see you next time.